Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm going to try to cook a rack of spare ribs on my Weber kettle grill. And uh, I've only done ribs a few times, so let's see if I can do these some justice. I just happened to win a drawing a couple weeks ago on the Root Boy Cooks channel. Um, he uh, does a barbecue video every week and uh, tastes a different beer. So um, I just happened to win that. So I have two uh, bottles of You Know You Want It barbecue uh, sauce. And um, I actually bought this once myself and I got a jar of the regular and a jar of the spicy. and. Uh, Manuel messaged me and said he was the one sending me the sauce directly, so he asked me which I preferred, so I went with the spicy. Now, uh, so I have a good sauce here, and I'm also going to use uh, the Sonoma Spice Queen barbecue rub. Now, she's my neighbor, and she grinds all her own spices, so she makes some good tasting uh, spice rubs. Um, so, I have a good rub and a good sauce. So let's see if I can make some decent ribs. This is a five and a half pound rack of ribs, and these are just regular spare ribs, not the baby backs. Let's see if I can get this uh, membrane off of here. It's hard to get a hold of. Some people leave these on, some people take them off. I'm gonna try to get them off here, get it off of there. There we go. I usually rub the outside of my ribs with oil, but I see people using mustard a lot of the time, so today I'm going to try mustard. I really like the smell of that mustard. Now we'll get some of this barbecue rub on there on both sides. Okay, I'm all set up here. I'm using Royal Oak Lump Charcoal, and I put the coals on the back so I'm cooking indirectly here. I got my uh, grill temperature probe there so I can monitor the grill temperature. Um, one last thing, I think I'll put a pan of water over the coals for a little moisture. I don't have one of those fancy divider things that some of the guys have where you can put water in, so we'll just try it this way. and. Uh, I'll get the lid on there and uh, we'll just kind of see how this goes. These have been on there for about an hour and 45 minutes, so I'm going to take a look at them here. I have opened this twice and threw a little more charcoal in. Now these are starting to look a little bit dry on the outside, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and start brushing some sauce on them now. and. Um, I think that I'll just keep doing this every once in a while until they look done. Now the, the temperature on the grill has been running at about 280 to 290, right in that range. So uh, it's not really a low and slow cook. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take till they're done, but I'm thinking they might be done in maybe, I don't know, two and a half hours or so. so just going to finish saucing these up and uh, we'll be back when they're done. Okay, I let these cook for 2 hours and 25 minutes total. And they cooked at about 280 to 290 degrees the whole time. So I'm starving. I'm not expecting these to be super tender or anything like that. But what do I care? I'm the easy cooking guy. I'm not the barbecue pro guy. I'm just hungry. So let's try this. Well, I'm right, these are not super tender, but they have a lot of flavor with that rub and that barbecue sauce. So I'm not complaining, and I'm starving, so I'm gonna finish these. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.